Hello and welcome back. I'm Todd Ching, Director of Tennis at Governor's Club. And this is our hopefully last video in our series of at-home tennis. So last time we talked about hitting these nice little cut drop shots, working on our touch and our feel against our garage door. And we did it all from the forehand side. Today we're gonna to work a little bit on that backhand side, but we're also gonna talk about grips. So one of the things that's very, very helpful is we wanna be in a neutral grip when we approach the net area. That way when we hit our volleys, half volleys, drop shots, we don't have to worry about changing our grip. If I have a forehand grip and a backhand grip, when I come to the net and I already don't have a lot of time, when that ball is coming at me, I don't wanna to have to worry about changing and then hitting. If I have what's called a hammer grip, and we're not gonna talk about the exact angle your hand has to be in here, but we wanna basically hold this so that if this is a hammer head, if I nail something straight in front of me, that's how I'm gonna hold it. This is how I'm holding my racket. This is a perfectly neutral grip and I can hit both cut shots on my forehand and my backhand without having to change. This is nice because obviously when the ball is coming very fast to me and I don't have time, that's all I have to do. The other nice thing here is that that's this direction. If it comes to my forehand, in this grip, you can see I naturally have some loft to it, an open racket angle. That means it's facing upward. If I hit slightly down with an open face, I get friction, which is in this case, backspin. In this, this direction, same grip, same movement, naturally open, same action, backspin. When I'm hitting a touch shot or a drop shot, I don't want to hit a topspin ball because I don't want this ball to bounce and go towards my opponent. I want this to bounce and land softly and hopefully not go anywhere at all. Backspin is going to be crucial for this. Okay, so back to our drill. Last video, we worked on hitting this ball so it lands against the wall or garage door on a downward trajectory, hopefully hitting our target that's about five or six feet away. Now we talk about backhands, it's the exact same thing. You can start it with your forehand and then go to your backhand or you can just drop the ball and hit your backhand to start off with. Whatever is easiest for you to start this drill, it's nice to go ahead and just do everything on your backhand side because every shot you hit is helping. I'm going to drop this and I'm going to hit a series of shots trying the exact same thing. A little cut shot. Hopefully this ball is going to hit the garage door on its way downward and land close to this target if not on it. Now once I've done that, and I feel like I'm improving on that, I'm gonna combine the two shots. Okay, so I'm gonna hit my forehand, and then go to my backhand. This is gonna take a little bit of footwork going side to side, or if I can have very good control, I can hit it from one side to the other and not have to move very much at all. This is not a footwork-based drill. We're really focusing on our grip and our contact for the shot, but footwork is always important, so if we're gonna move, that's always good. As you can see, I had a couple shots go a little awry, but I was able to adjust and get right back into uh, my rhythm for this. So one of my favorite drills to do, it's actually kind of a peaceful drill to be honest with you, but at the same time, I really am working on my touch and my feel. Uh, as great as power is in tennis, we want to have all the aspects. Players like Roger Federer are so much fun to watch because he can blow it by somebody, but he can also finesse it. So if we keep working on these items, we can have more of a complete game this will certainly help your doubles, but if you're a singles player too, very crucial to have this in your game. So hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day and see you next time.